What's up guys, it's the Cheapster here, and today we're gonna to be talking about 10 items that you should not buy on Amazon, 10 items that I think are pretty worthless. And trust me, there were way more than 10 items when I started going down this rabbit trail of finding items on Amazon. There are already a few things that I already knew that I've like seen in the past that I was like, oh, those are just pointless items to buy. But I started kind of looking for it, and th this could be way more than 10. So we're gonna just jump right into it, and we're gonna start off with the least of the worst, best of the worst, which is still the worst. But we're gonna start there and then go down to the worst item I've seen. So the first thing we got here is these mop slippers, which I thought at first I was like, oh, these could be like if you're a kid, um, especially if you like to like, you know, slide around. We always used to like slide around in our socks as kids and stuff. I mean, I still like to do that now. But I, th I was like, okay, these could be like fun for kids. But then I looked more at it and I realized, no, they're like actually saying that these are like, gonna clean your floor and I'm really confused like how they're saying that they're gonna do that you're just gonna slide around all it's gonna do is like slide the dirt around everywhere and then looking into it even more so I was like okay you got the people right here with like the shoes on and stuff okay like that's what you think but then they have it on a mop and then they're just holding it so they're calling it a multifunctional floor cleaning shoes but I think literally they're just like trying to reach for anything that could make more sense you can see this mom right here forcing her child to not even wear them but to use her hand like it's a sponge I, I don't understand so 10 bucks totally wasted money that is the least of the worst though then the next item we have coming in at six dollars and 20 cents is a public toilet survival kit um and i thought at first that this was just going to be like kind of like it's a prank thing and like you give this to somebody it's supposed to be like a joke I really don't think it is. I think it's supposed to be like for real. And it's not even necessarily like what comes with it that makes it so pointless because it kind of does make sense. It's like, okay, your kit, it comes with two antiseptic wipes, one pair of disposable gloves, one toilet seat cover. Okay, sounds fine. But you're talking about spending 620 for that is just, it makes no sense at all. This is pointless. Like paying $6.20, you could go get some antiseptic wipes yourself. Now I know some people really have issues with this, like trying to like use public restrooms. I don't get it at all. My wife is one of those people who really doesn't like public toilets. I mean, if this is really gonna help you, maybe that's fine, but this seems totally useless to me. Maybe that's just me. Maybe you're like, I would love to use that. I think that that's probably like the best thing in the world and I would like to have 20 of those. But I don't get it. I don't like it. I think it's a total waste of money to spend 620 on that. And then the next item we got here is these It's Okay to Fart Socks. I saw these and was like, okay, like what is this? Um, It's like supposed to like support something and I don't see any kind of thing. Like I was like, maybe it's like for colon cancer or something like that no i don't see anything it just says a creative way to show off your unique self expression and a fun spin on the traditional gift for friends i don't know if this is like just a joke that i'm not getting and it's 15 dollars for these socks so i just think that's pointless i think these are a total waste of money to buy on amazon look at that dog's face that dog's face looks scared to death he thinks you're about to blast one right in his face while you're wearing those socks i think they're a waste of money I'm just gonna say that and think they're a waste of money. I wish they should, would have been like something for colon cancer or something like that. Maybe that doesn't even make sense that it's okay to fart if you have colon cancer, but I imagine may have issues with farts. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about, but <laughs> these would have made more sense with that. Without that, I don't see any reason to buy these. I think these are a total waste. All right, next on the list, and yes, this one is more of a practical joke. This one isn't like for real, uh, but I thought it was kind of funny too just how it says dehydrated water um i wonder if there's people out there if, if you don't get this right now why can't a dehydrated water is pointless you need to go back to science class it's a funny joke but it's 1291 and that is one of the biggest reasons why i'm putting it on here because yeah it's a funny joke but it is 13 dollars for a can of nothing i think that's just kind of ridiculous but you know what this family says that you are good to get it and you should spend the $13. Look at this totally not a stock photo picture of family who just used dehydrated water. And it comes with a lifetime guarantee, guys. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is actually like probably one of the best gifts that you could get. Um, like I said, if you didn't understand what dehydrated water is, you should buy this. This is probably like the best value item you can get on Amazon. Go ahead, and, I'm, I'm buying it right now. Let me just add this to my cart. 
So the next item here is the As Seen on TV Puff and Fluff Dog Dryer. Um, I have actually seen a few people use this, and this is probably one of the reasons why I'm putting it on this list, because everybody that I've seen try to use this thing has just been a disaster. Not to mention that for a large breed dog, it is $70 for basically a garbage bag, and I don't think this comes with a blow dryer. No, it doesn't come with a blow dryer. It, the blow dryer is $51 if you want to buy that, and this actually says the large uses two blow dryers. So. For a grand total of $170, your dog could be nice and dry. Or you could use these little things called towels. They even sell those at the Dollar Tree. I actually bought a few of those when I was doing my Dollar Tree challenge. $170 or a dollar. I think I'm going to go with a dollar. Also, not to mention, I have a dog, and me trying to put my dog in this thing would it be a disaster my dog would not just sit there and let me put this giant bag on him he'd be freaking out 170 bucks I mean sure you can save on the hair dryers you don't need those but still you're not getting out of $70 for this thing total waste of money uh yeah awful all right the next item on the list breaks my heart I hate this I hate this item these are chip fingers one size fits all and they're just that they're cheese resistant so they're supposed to be used so you don't get like those cheeto fingers like you see in like toy story 2 is it toy story 2 yeah so you don't want to get those but what who doesn't want to get those i don't know maybe that's just me but i love cheetos fingers because at the end you get to have the cheetos fingers and lick your fingers so why would you want this? If you're one of those people who are with me and you love your Cheetos fingers, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Cheetos fingers are great. I don't see why you would want to get this thing. To top it all off, this is $15.75 for some little like basically thimbles. Thimbles would do the same thing for you. You don't need these like weird finger covers. I'm trying to even like think of a use for this outside of like Cheetos and stuff, but I can't think of anything like this is just a total waste all right the next item on the list is a portable pizza pouch now this is one of those things that I actually saw and I was like oh that's cool like that'd be funny and then I thought about it more and I was like wait <laughs> it becomes so much more pointless when you think about it like I I literally thought to myself yeah that'd be cool like you put a piece of pizza in there but then I was like, what would you ever use that for? Like a piece of pizza doesn't last. You can't just like go on a hike and like slide a piece of pizza in there and then just wait till like later in the day to eat your pizza. Like it'll get disgusting. Look, there's literally, they have a picture of a guy hiking with the pizza pouch. But notice how none of these people have pizza in the pouch. They show a pizza at the end. Nobody has the pizza in the pouch. They just have the little stock cardboard thing in it. So nobody wants to put their pizza in there. Even the people who are selling it don't even want to use the product. So yeah, like this guy. He's got a piece of pizza. He's eating it. But the stuff is still in the pouch. He never put it in the pouch to begin with. And he's just eating it. So what's he going to use the pouch for? Nothing. But if you want to be like this guy, he's very pumped about having that pizza pouch. I think you should spend these $9.00. To get this amazing pizza pouch product this looks great the next item on the list is not the most useless that i found but i saw this one this is actually kind of what started this whole idea of doing this video and it just it made me so mad why people would want this and that is to modify your camera lens so your iphone x xs max like whatever to make it look like an iphone 11 pro at first i was like oh this is like cool it like somehow like makes it the three camera design no no it does not it's literally a sticker that goes on your camera that's all the thing is it's a stupid stupid sticker it tries to like go on to say that yeah it's actually going to protect your camera and all this stuff no i doubt it you're just shooting through another piece of plastic that's going to be cheap i mean the iphone glass that's on the camera is going to be very expensive glass to make it look nice and now you're sticking a piece of plastic on top of it that's going to like reduce your image quality this isn't even like you're sticking it to like your iphone 5. i have a 6s it's not even sticking it to that it's sticking it to your iphone x and xs those are like decently new phones <sighs> Are people actually buying this? Like, what is going on with our society that you need to make your phone look like you have the 11 Pro when you don't? 
I hate it so much. So it is definitely on the list. That one, oh, I hate it. But what's even worse is actually the next one. Maybe this one should have been reversed actually because I really hate that, the one with the iPhone. But this one's actually pretty bad too and that is the gift of nothing. And this is 986 for the gift of nothing which is one of the biggest reasons why I have it on this list because it, it literally is nothing. It is just a like piece of cardboard with a plastic circle and I get it it's supposed to be like a gag gift but it's almost ten dollars for nothing <laughs> like oh oh man and I know people buy these you could have like just got a piece of paper you know what you didn't need to get anything you could have given them nothing because <laughs> that is literally free you know what nothing costs nothing Guys, I actually just decided to start a website, www.thecheapstersellsaholebunchofnothing.com. Different color options, um, different types of plastics, wide variety of prices and stuff that you can choose from. Um, I think it's gonna go big, I'm pretty excited. So the worst item on Amazon, in my opinion, uh, I definitely see this one as worse than the um, iPhone. Uh, sticker thing and this one actually I looked at and I was like okay I could see how maybe this one would like have kind of a use and then I read into it more and I was like oh gosh no no absolutely not and this is what it is it's instant underpants which okay yeah that seems like a great idea like okay you know you're out get a little scared and you need to go change your underwear well, these could be a great thing. You know, you got them in your pocket. They're just kind of like a little disposable underwear. Um, but the problem I have with this is it says just add water. This guy is watering the pouch and it gives you underwear. Also, what is this guy wearing? What is this hat? Expands to fit most adults. Man, wouldn't you be embarrassed if you carried this thing around for 10 years and then expanded it and found out it didn't even fit you. They're just gonna drop it in like it's an alka seltzer or something. Like, what? <laughs> I don't understand this one. Because then it's just gonna be soaking wet. So then what, you're putting on like soaking wet underwear? What? This item is number 1135 in mid's underwear. I hope that there are only 1135 items in men's underwear and that is the last one this one looks like it's not even supposed to be like that much of a like a joke i feel like this one is like okay maybe you could give it as a joke but it's actually like trying to be like yeah it's, it's like beneficial you could use it <laughs> like what no you can't that'll be soaking wet why not just go commando that's free it's free it's the gift of nothing New item to add to the website, Commando Underwear. Ships free, arrives instantly. You don't even have to wait for shipping. $20, order now. <laughs> and look at what shows up and frequently bought together. Instant underpants, grow a boyfriend. <laughs> Why? And then the public toilet thing. So, I mean, this is just, this is the prime bundle right here. I mean, you just can't get any better than this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you felt like this was actually a worthless um, list. Maybe you thought this list is actually pretty awesome. And maybe you just went and bought some of it. But please, please, please do not buy those iPhone stickers. Please, I beg you, I beg you, don't buy them. And if you wanna buy this underwear, that's okay. You can buy the underwear. If you want to wear what underwear, go ahead. And guys, if you can just remember, do the cheapest thing you can today. Even cheaper than buying the gift of nothing is to just tap the like button on this video. Also, subscribe wow. to my channel. I do two videos a week, and I'm going to be doing lots of these types of videos. Um, I just got my studio kind of set up where I'm actually starting to do more of these uh, review videos, which is pretty fun. I'm excited about them. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this kind of content. And remember, don't buy any of this kind of garbage and stay cheap. Don't have it subscribed. Oh my god. Come on. What are you waiting for?